So, Paul wants to spread the gospel message, and it says, to the Jews first, and then Greeks, to everyone else. So his goal is to spread it, not be ashamed of the gospel, to spread it to everyone. Okay? Now for the second verse. Romans chapter 1, verse 17. For in it is revealed the righteousness of God from faith to faith. As it is written, the one who is righteous by faith will be loved. Okay. We're going to spend a lot of time on this one verse, believe it or not. Because this verse is packed with a lot of meaning. This was Martin Luther's core verse in starting the Reformation. So we need to take a look at it. The very first part of verse 17. For in it, the gospel message, it is revealed. What is that telling us about this message? It is revealed. Revealed by who? God. God. God has given us revelation. What does that mean, God giving us revelation? Knowledge. Knowledge. Understanding. Understanding. Wisdom. Wisdom. Truth, all those things. We talk a revelation from God. God is speaking to us the fullness of the truth. So in this passage here, we hear that this is revealed by God for our own good. And why do you think God gives us this revelation? Because he loves us. And the main theme of the gospel message, what we get out of it, salvation. salvation. He's revealing this because he loves us and he wants each and every one of us to be saved, to go to heaven. That's why he's given it to us. Now the term that we encounter here, the righteousness of God. Does anyone have any... <laughs> that was God speaking, by the way. I'm okay. You're on overload. <laughs> Sinful, speak for yourself. 
confused, like me. Doubting. Doubting. Unrighteous. Unrighteous. Can be wrong. Can be wrong. <laughs> Most likely are. And their relationship with God initially separated. Separated from God. By the way, why is man initially separated from God? Remember? Original sin? Who do we have to blame for that man? <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> Adam and Eve, right? We have them to blame. Why, why do we have them to blame for original sin? There's nobody else around. There's no one else around. They did something. They disobeyed God. They used their free will. They allowed Satan to tempt. And they may use free will to deliberately disobey God. And as a result of that, what happened to the relationship with God? Severed. Severed. What happened to them in the Garden of Eden? They got, they they got, got kicked out. out. And what happened to the gates of heaven? Closed. Closed. The righteousness of God, the unrighteousness of man. And the rest of the verse, the one who is righteous by faith will live. Now look at what Paul is saying. He compares God and man, and then he says, the one who is righteous by faith will live. What is Paul telling us now? What does it take to live? Faith, yes, but what do we need? To live. We need God's righteousness. We are sinful. Separated from God. We're unrighteous. Meaning separated from God, right? So how can we come into a relationship with God? We now have to have God's righteousness in our lives. Somehow we got to be taken out of the condition of original sin. Separated from God. And be brought now into... Relationship with God. And that's not just original sin, right? It's this all the personal sin that happens after that, too. Oh, sure. We're describing right now at the beginning. Yeah. But you hear what Deb said? You know, at one point we need to get, we have to have Christ's righteousness so that that original sin, that separation from us can be taken away so we can become in relationship with God. But then is that it? Has anyone sinned after being baptized? I don't see any hands up, but this is a unique class. So then, you know, how do we account for that? So really, it's an ongoing process. Very good. So this is the key to Paul's book on the book of, Paul's epistle on the book of Romans. How do we get out of this condition and... Enter into a relationship with Christ. That's Paul's epistle. Question? Yeah, so I guess I'm not getting it. So, so for the Reformation... That's our next was, topic. Oh, sorry, sorry, get ahead. No problem. Are you with me so far? Mm -hmm. This is what Paul's putting out. How do we get the righteousness of Christ? That's his letter. So we're going to continue with that, but what we're going to do right now is eat. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a break, and now we're going to get back into the nitty-gritty.